shiv token versus the dollar and i think i think this is it i think this is it uh, what do we have a short-term downturn right here i am uh short-term bearish especially as long as you're below uh, 70, 72.50 or so. Now, with that in mind, uh, probably is going to get a bounce short term here. Yep, we do have some bullish events come off the hourly, so I would be looking for very likely another move somewhere around about 61 to 6200 or so. Uh, however, I do remain bearish on the hourly as long as we are closing hourly totals below specifically 65.60 uh, in this case. Uh, in this case, you know, short term bounces very likely lead towards uh, general continuation of the downside. Um, you know, long term targets to the downside, well, long term relative to a four hour. About 44.50 to maybe 44 even or so uh, daily. Very likely bounces here first. Yeah, so I, I, again, I feel a lot more confident saying that this one does uh, bounce here first on the daily uh, short term. And then very likely, uh, assuming that we just you know fail to get back above about uh, 72.50 on any on any of the medium or higher term time frames, I would be looking for the next dump ola down somewhere around about 4,000. And at that point, might see a higher low somewhere right around there. Um, still kind of hard to hate the weekly here, but... Uh, yeah, short short term bouncy, medium term and long term corrective still, and uh, hopefully that. Well, hold on, let's just look at it one more time over here. Just curious, just curious what we might see, what might be fine. Uh, four hour stocks turned turn back up above about fifty four, so that's good. Again, short term bouncy, daily turns down below sixty nine, so yeah, that does align kind of with our seven thousand pivot. So short term bouncy can can probably even uh, rally up quite a fair bit. Um, yeah. But uh, long-term corrective here. Hopefully that's helpful. And there you go for a shib.